Good morning, everyone. Okay, so let's talk a little about health. You know this topic is gonna come up sometimes. I am a health and fitness coach, my part-time girl boss job, and I think it's an extremely important topic to talk about. I actually just got off the phone with my bestie and we were talking about our health um, and this journey that we're on. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about it because, like I said, it's important. Importante. So, as I do my health here and finish my superfood shake, activate my superpowers for today, I know I woke up with lots and lots. This thing is so irritating seeing that. I don't really know what happened to my skin here. Always happens right in this one little spot. I'm like still a teenager, but whatever. So, um... And I just scratched it and made it bleed. Fun, fun. <laughs> so anyways, so I wanted to talk about health because I'm on this 80-day journey, as you guys know, which is all focused. This is going to drive me nuts now because I just scratched it and made it worse. I always do that. I'm such a picker and a scratcher, and then I make things worse, and then now it's going to scab, and then it's going to be this ugly thing on my face. Um, so... Like you guys know, I'm always live and always raw. Whatever happens, happens. Good morning, Mom. So um, so you guys know that I'm on this 80-day journey. And when I'm talking about health, I'm not just talking about our bodies. Like our mental health and our physical health, our internal health, the inside. And we forget all the things that happen on the inside that make the outside look healthy. Um, it's just... We have to focus because if you're, if you're not, hey Cecilia, if we're not focusing on our health, if we're not making that one of our priorities, I love that, um, then if we're not making it a priority, no one's going to make our health a priority either. So we really need to make sure that we're dialed in and we're focused into our health. And like I said, I'm not just meaning the physical, what we look like. I mean our mental health. That's why I read the personal development I read. But the reason why I wanted to ask if you're making it a priority or if it's even something that you think about on a daily, being healthy. Like if you have children, do you think about being healthy and being around for them as long as you can? Do you think about, okay, get healthy now so I don't have to pay money later to medication and everything else because I'm not healthy. So I talk to a lot, a lot of people throughout the day, as you guys know, in this social media land that we live in. Um, I talk to a lot of people because they're either reaching out to me, asking me questions on how they can join my next um, Tanya's Virtual Fit Club. Or, which is awesome because it's so fun. It's in this fun app and we're logging our superfoods and we're logging our workouts and we're giving each other motivation and it's so much fun. So I have people reaching out to me asking when my next group starts so they can be a part of it. And then I reach out to some people and I let them know when my next group is and I invite them to join me because I really, really believe that this community is amazing um, that I've built in this app with these awesome, awesome ladies. Um... Like, one woman sent another woman a packet of the cafe latte flavor because the girl had said, oh my God, that looks so good. I love coffee. I would probably love that flavor. So she sent her a packet so she can try it. Like, hey, Jacqueline. And Jacqueline's one of the people in my group, so she can tell you how amazing. And Cecilia is too. They could tell you how amazing the community is in this group. And that's why I named it Tanya's Virtual Fit Club. Like, I'm not naming it a special name every month. Like, that's just what it is. It's our virtual fit club because that's what fit clubs are about. It's about the community of people that you're surrounding yourself with so you can be healthy. All these people are on the same path. They have the same goals to be healthy and to feel good in their skin. So why not do it together? Why do it alone, right? Hey, Amy. Um, so you have to make sure that you're really focusing and making your health a top priority to you. Because would you rather pay $4 a day to drink this yumminess every morning? Or would you rather pay way much more money every day to pop a pill because now you're not healthy and you need pills because you have either have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, whatever it may be because you're not taking care of your body now. You're going to be stuck taking these medications 
instead of something as simple as blending up a freaking shake in the morning and enjoying it. Not to say that you can't get sick or you can't end up with a thyroid problem or you can't end up with diabetes if you're drinking this. I'm not saying that this isn't a magic shake. What I'm saying, I'm, you know, obviously if your body's meant to have one of those things happen, it's just going to happen. There's nothing that you can drink that's going to stop that. But what I'm saying is, it's preventative. It can help it not happen by taking care of your body, eating the right foods, not even necessarily drinking this. This is just, I swear by this, guys. You guys know this. It's been five years now. You've seen me drinking this. You've seen me talking about it. I swear by it. This is my staple in my nutrition. This is the one thing that will never change. Never change. I will always drink this exact shake. I might drink a different flavor. I might change it up and put something different in it one day, but I will be drinking this superfood shake forever. It helps my hair grow fast. It helps keep my face clear, except this one little guy right here that wanted to make me feel like a teenager again. Um, it, my nails, these are mine. My nails grow fast. Everything strung, my skin is clear. So it does a lot for me. And that's because of all the vitamins and nutrients. But my point to this is, not to talk all about this stuff, even though I can talk about it all day long. My point is, you've got to find something or someone that can help you if you can't do it on your own. And you've got to make sure that you're eating properly. You're getting up and getting moving. Even if you get up and get moving and it's just for a walk, or it's just to do like the online access I have. We have a 10 minute program, yes. Just a 10 minute workout every day. My mom was doing that program, but I haven't heard from her in the morning in a long time saying, I press play today, so I'm gonna have to get on her booty and get her back on track because it was 10 minutes every morning. Everybody has freaking 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It probably takes you longer to take a poop than it would to get a workout in. But, hi, Deborah. So everybody has the time. You guys have the time because you're either going to have the time now and get the work in now or your time's going to be spent maybe bedridden or not really bedridden because you can't move, but bedridden because you're so sick you can't do anything. I'm telling you, as our bodies get older, they're harder to take care of. <laughs> they're harder to take care of. It's like they get old and stubborn. You know, it's harder to lose weight. It's harder to get a transformation. Sometimes you can do all the hard work in the world and you just see a little tiny difference where when you were younger, you could put half the effort and you see a major difference. So that just shows you that as we get older, our bodies are harder to deal with. So you've got to got to got to do something. I know a lot of people say, oh, but that's so expensive, I can't afford it. Like I said before, for me, I'd rather pay $4 for one of these every day, which is less than a Starbucks coffee, by the way, than have to take medication for the rest of my life and pay out hundreds of dollars. If you add up every month that you've paid every year for whatever years of the rest of your life, that's a lot of money. You could save money by just making a shake in the morning. Like I, I do not see that this is too expensive. I actually think they don't charge enough. For everything that this shake does, everything it's done for me so far continues to do for me. $4 a shake is freaking cheap. <laughs> It's cheap. I mean, if you go to Starbucks every day, stop going to Starbucks, drink this shake instead and get the cafe latte flavor and make yourself your own healthy frappuccino every morning without all the calories, without all the sugar, and watch the changes that you feel in your body. Not just the changes that you can see in your body, but the changes that you can feel. More energy, less bloating, healthy skin. You just feel good. It helps curb your appetite, it helps curb cravings. So it's like, you guys have got to think of your health. Would you rather pay now or pay later? I'd rather pay now with something yummy than have to pay later with either surgeries or medications or anything else. But that's just my mindset with it. And that's why I always share with you guys, like I always do, my mindset on things. Um, so that's my spiel about your health. And are you really, really thinking about it? Are you really, really, really putting things into perspective? Or are you just making funny excuses because you just don't want to try? I'd rather you try and fail than not try at all. And you should feel the same way. When it comes to your health, there should be no question. 
there really should be no question. It should just be like, yep, that's what I need to do. That's what I'm going to do. It doesn't matter how much it is. I'll put it on this credit card and figure out how to pay it later. Whatever. That It's your health. So if the doctor told you today that you needed a medication that was $4 a day to help your body because your body's not healthy, I bet you every bottom dollar that I have in my pocket that you would pay that $4 a day to pop that medication that the doctor's telling you you need to have. Why wait for the doctor to tell you you have to spend that money? Tell yourself. Remind yourself that you have to do something today to make yourself happy. So, all right, that's all I have for you guys today. So my call to action is if this talk reached you, if the whole time I was talking, you're like, I know, Tanya, I know, I know, I'm slacking, I know, I need to contact you, I just need to get started, then my call to action to you is to freaking contact me. Comment below. Send me a message. Email me, tanya at getfitwithtanya.com. And I spell my name T-A-N-Y-A. You know how to reach me, guys. You're on my like page. You're on my Instagram. Some of you are on my Snapchat, my Twitter. Contact me wherever you can find me and just do it. Stop waiting to take the step. Because you know I'm going to be by your side. You know I'm there for you. Prime example. Me and Amy just had a long phone conversation before I even went live. She was my top priority. Then I went live with you guys. That's how I am for my friends that I help. You could be a friend that I just met here on Facebook, but you know what? You're still my friend, and I'm still going to be there to help you. If you need me and you call me, I'm there. If you need me and you text me, I'm there. I do not leave you hanging. I do not leave you by yourself on this journey. Once you're with me and you talk to me about even thinking about doing this journey... In my mind, you're already on the journey with me and I'm checking in with you all the time. How are you doing? Do you have any questions? What are you, whether you purchase something from me or not, once you tell me that, yes, I'm not on a journey, but I should be on a journey, in my mind, I'm like, they need me and I'm there. So you're never going to be by yourself, especially joining my group. Oh, these ladies are freaking amazing. They are amazing. So I just wanted to just chat with you guys about that and remind you that your health needs to be very, very important to you. It's important to me and some of you that are watching this, I probably haven't even chatted with you one-on-one -on -one yet, but your health is important to me. Gosh, the obesity rating and the unhealthy rating in this world right now is just, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And we need to do something about it. We don't want our children being unhealthy and feeling uncomfortable in their skin. We know how that feels. We don't want that for them. So we need to lead by example, and we need to start doing something today that they can see us making the change. I mean, never before would my son go outside and do pull-ups and push-ups when he walks out in the garage, but knowing that it's something I do every day and I'm doing my workouts every day, he goes out there, whether it's in the morning, before school, or when he gets home, or before bed, or whatever, but he's hopping on that pull-up bar, and he can do more pull-ups than I can, and he's doing pull-ups, and he's doing ab work on the bar, and he's doing all this stuff. Never before would he have done that, and I know it's all because he sees me work really hard at being healthy every day, and he sees me making good food choices, you know, so they're watching, and we have to lead by example. That is our job as their parents, and our job to ourselves is to stick around for a while and to be healthy. So do that call to action. Reach out to me. I don't know this is something that you're contemplating, something that you're thinking about, unless you reach out to me. Because I don't like to harass people. So if I've already asked you and you never replied, I don't know how long it'll take before I ask again. So don't bet on that I'm going to definitely reach out to you today because who knows when. So make sure you reach out to me so I can help you. I promise you. You'll be very, very happy that you did. This jar of yumminess has saved me some funds. So, and it's gotten me healthy. So, it's a double doozy of a thumbs up. So, have a great, what's today? Is today Thursday? Yeah. Have a great Thursday. And I will see you guys later. Bye.